It's the fucking Fortress of Fire. My favorite death metal band. Alright, so we're gonna use Squirrel and Tyke for the very last mission in the game. I hope you're fucking ready for this. I hope you got your sack lunch and your sack and your pants, because it's ready to fucking go nuts time. I don't know. This level fills me with some serious shit. I don't know why either. Alright, so here comes the hardest part in the entire game is just the beginning of it. Uh, so, taking care of the jeep is the hardest part. It really is. You don't need to go to the right. There's absolutely no fucking reason to do that. Okay. No, no, no. Ugh. This is the hardest part of the entire game. <clears throat> I wish I was kidding, but yeah, that's seriously the hardest part. Okay, so we don't need to go in the other direction. There's no point. So, believe me, there's a lot of dead ends and useless shit in this level. And I don't want to piss around too much. So, okay. I'm just going to try and push forward because it's the easiest way to get through this level is to know exactly where to go. You can get a disguise, but the disguise is as useless as tits on a bull. So there's no point in having it. God. There's no point in stealth. I'm dead serious. You can try. It doesn't do you any good because you still have to blow up that wall and these guys will eventually just get aggressive anyways. So there's no point. Also, that fucking fire sound effect is real fire. Uh, we're in a volcano, in case you couldn't tell. I think every fucking PS1 game has a volcano in it, at least once. Come on, there's like three guys over here, I'm pretty sure. Oh, I thought there was. No, come on! Oh! Shit, man, that made me so... Wow. Okay, so there's no point in being stealthy, in case you couldn't tell. So we need to go to the left. The right's pointless, it's just a weapons cache. There's no point in going in there. Over to the left is actually the end of the game. So, that's where we want to go. That's where we're gonna be. Jesus Christ, you have no idea. You can fall off of this and you will die instantly. There's no melting animation. Kind of lazy on my my opinion, but you know, whatever. Alright, it's almost getting to the point where it's going to get fucking nuts. So, this. That will kill you. Don't touch it. It's fucking fire, if you couldn't tell. So, don't touch any of it. Just crawl underneath it. And remember that, because we're going to have to have our other guy go through this. Why would you ever put a missile inside of a volcano? That's just asking for trouble, I'm just going to say it. But then again, this game is not the most amazing thing ever made. So, this is the final fucking room. I hope you're ready. Are you ready for the big titty anime monster? Because there isn't any. I hate to spoil it. There's... Well, there is a big titty hentai anime monster in one of the games, but... No, I'm just kidding, there isn't. I got your hopes up there for a second, didn't I? Sorry. Uh... I don't know if there's a way to fuck this up, either. Part of me says there is, and I don't want to find out. So... Okay, we need to get over there, but there's still, like, three guys. Am I losing my shit? And they just didn't spawn? Okay. I'm not gonna complain. Are they gonna come in and, and fuck me up from here too? No? Okay. So, that's cool, I guess. Uh, I'm not gonna complain. <gasps> Jesus Christ, that scared the shit out of me. Wow. Fuck. Okay, so we need to make sure we have the radio, and we need to do these in the correct order, or... I don't know. I, nothing happens, I don't think. You just gotta start over. So... To get close. Why would you ever put equipment like this? This is so dumb. Whoa. Whoa. This is the real final boss. Trust me. Just not dying and fucking getting stuck on level geometry. We're gonna have our boy Squirrel finish it though. We have to, I, I'm pretty sure. I don't think he can do this with any other character. 
Well, you know, calm character, I should say. Oh, God. And that's two of three. Jesus Christ, you have no idea how tense I am right now. I am afraid something's gonna fucking suck me into that shit. Alright. I cannot remember where the fucking console is here. Jesus! Ugh, you have no idea. That's scary. It really is. It'll fucking clench your dick off. I don't know. I, I fucking hate that. It scares me. Come on. One of these fucking 1980s goddamn Amiga 2600s, is it... Why aren't you happy? This is the most sad realization ever, is I can't ever remember which- There we go. Mission successful! Congratulations, men! We did it! Are you ready to see the coolest fucking ending ever in video game history? I bet your ass you are. I know I am. I haven't seen it like 70 times. Are you ready for this? Get ready! Did you expect anything less? And there's not even the credits. Because this game doesn't give a shit. So, yeah. That's Army Men, Team Assault. This game was probably made by five people who don't even want to talk about this game anymore. I would not even be shocked. But, um, yeah. This was the second game I ever finished in the series. Outside of, like, Sarge's Heroes and everything, but... You know what I mean. This is... Music? What are you talking about, music? You mean the blank noise? Get out of here, Don Ferrone. You make me sick. 5,000 feet incorporated my ass. But believe me, there's a reason why the Army Men series died. It was because of games like this that were just so mediocre and iffy that there is literally hardly anything. Like, look at that. The artist and the level designer are the same people, basically. It's like, that's it. No one really developed at 5,000 feet incorporated. Wow. I can tell. So, <clears throat> that's it. That's the whole game, man. Um, would I recommend it? No. Would I recommend it if you collect the series? Sure. Would I say start playing with this game? Fuck no. <laughs> Would I recommend playing it though anyways just to say you've done it? No, go home. <laughs>